everyone, you welcome to my channel. And if you're here for the first time, I am Favor Napoleon, and you're watching the People's Show. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about what I tag dedication. Uh, 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 uh. You know, I talked about this episode today, and I was like, oh, what's the, what's the best way to communicate it? But I'm going to try my best to do justice to this topic, to do justice to this topic I tag dedication and are you dedicated to your dreams are you dedicated to your vision are you dedicated to that goal are you dedicated to that project are you really dedicated to it are you dedicated to all the aspirations you have you know in life we when while we are growing up in life at a certain stage in life we just set some goals for ourselves some visions some dreams and say oh this is how i want my family to be this is how i want my my home to look like you know these are the things i want to achieve i want to get to that union and just get that degree you know i want to be this i want to be that you know but in our journey in life you know life just throws so many throws things at us that we never planned for you know your intention was to go to school after four three four five six years you just get that degree and go but by the time you get there you're going to face a lot of challenges it's things are not definitely going to go just the way you plan it there are so there are going to be some obstacles on the way there are going to be a lot of things on the way but you have to be dedicated to your dream you have got you have to tell yourself hey girl hey boy i can deal with this i can do this why because you have to be and be a dedicated person being a dedicated person you can be able to fix and achieve your dreams just because you have a, a good intention just because you want to do something good just because your dreams and your vision and your goals and whatever project you are working on just because it's a good one and it's going to impact people doesn't mean everybody is going to buy into that everybody might not buy to your idea everybody might not give into your idea you know there are going to be people in your journey of life that will stand against you that are going to be you are going to meet negative people along the way you're going to meet positive people along the way you're going to meet people who are just there to bring you down you're going to meet people in your journey of life who are just there to discourage you just like the way you're going to also meet people who are there to help you cream your dream to help you tell you and to encourage you to tell you oh oh guy you can do this oh oh girl you can i think you can fix this you know you're going to meet different kind of people in your journey of life but don't be discouraged and you're going to face storm and situations that's going to try to discourage you but don't be discouraged people are going to tell you oh you can't do this or people are going to tell you you don't have the best voice for this or you don't have the best face to be this or you don't have to be the, you, you 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 can't be the best the the miss miss word of your of your country so you're going to be you're going to meet different set of people in your journey of life but you have to tell yourself that you can do it and also you might you might also you might also experience some circumstances that will also that will also make you not to be dedicated to your dream just like there was some, there was something i saw in social media i think many years ago like five six years ago you know there was a man who went to a community and failed for for a month he fed all the people in that community both the children you know he fed everybody because they were so the community they they, they was they were they were suffering from starvation so when he got there he failed the whole community to the extent that the food were not enough he called for so many things he called he, he, he called he was calling other people for help to help them in shelter whatever they could give you know this man spent a month in that community trying to find how to help these people and the man posted it on social media and people came up and was saying that saying all sort of things you know the man did a very good thing they were but they were negative people were who were against it some people even went ahead and said why are you showing it off in social media or did the people ask for help mm -hmm. but that was so good to someone like me i saw it oh he's trying to help i saw it as uh, someone who was trying to give uh, uh, people life a definition i saw it like someone who was trying to help others but others saw it negatively they were like must you tell us what you went to do must you show us must you call for help did the people ask for help you know in our journey in life you must meet negative people but don't let that pull you down 
Don't let that stop your dream. Don't let that discourage you. So you have to be dedicated. When I'm talking about meeting the, the, the negative people in your journey of life, that, that's what is supposed to drive you into being dedicated to your dreams. When you are dedicated to your dreams and you're trying to keep an integrity for yourself, you will meet a lot of obstacles. And don't expect people's praise. Don't expect people to start clapping for you or making a plot for you because of, because of the fact that you are doing the right thing. People might not do that. If they do it fine, you accept it and you move on. But people does not always do that. There are things you will never find out about you until you are dedicated. There are things that come out. There are things that come out from within you. The, the, the uniqueness of you comes out until you are dedicated to your dreams, to your vision, to that project. Be dedicated to everything you do because whatever you are dedicated to, it comes out well. And whatever you do represents you. You have to be dedicated to your dreams. You have to do what you do, not because of any applaud from people, not because of any special benefits, not because of, of the father who oh, by the time you do this project, they are going to organize a special party for you or because of men applaud. No, you have to do it because that expresses you. You have to be dedicated to your dream because it's you. And you have to put yourself into what you do. You have to put your stamp and your signature into what you do. You have to do, you have to be dedicated to your dream because this is who you are. You have to be dedicated to your dream because it is, it is what you live for. People should not be able to separate you from what you do. Just like, for example, Talking about dedication, I'll talk about Nelson Mandela. He was dedicated to his dream. He was dedicated to what he wanted a change in his community. He wanted a change in his nation. And he was dedicated to it. No matter what people say, many people did not buy into his perspective. Not, many people did not see from, the, from his view. But he was dedicated to this cause because he wanted to make a difference in life. He wanted to make a change in the world. He wanted to make a change in what... He feels it was good for his peoples, for his nation, and that end up affecting the whole world today. So be dedicated to whatever you do in spite of what people are saying, because the people that might even not buy or believe or try to discourage you from what you are doing might even be the closest people to you. It might be your spouse, it might be your parents, it might be your friends, whatever. Be dedicated to what you want to do. Put more focus on it. Put more attention on it. I've come to the end of this episode. Let me know what your opinions are about dedication. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you had a nice time. And you know this is the best place to guide that vibe, that ginger. Huh? Let me dance a little. I love a little. <laughs> you know that's the best place to get that ginger, that vibe. Thank you for watching and promise me you're going to stay happy. See you in the next episode. See you on Tuesday. Bye.